Let's so run. we've had some hacks on this show, but now it's time for some real pros. <laughs> and joining us, for, <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's not true. It is true. You're a true pro. Paul, how are you, mate? Good, David. It's very funny to be on the other side of the, <laughs> the lens here. And I love the fact that I'm not on it, so that's good. So, yeah, we're here um, in the lovely Shoalhaven region of New South Wales to see Echoes Pink Floyd, of which Paul is the extremely valued keyboard player. Mate, run us through the rig. Sure, sure. So we've um, we've just finished sound check. Where do you want me to start, mate? Do you want me to start with the, the keyboards or yeah, whatever? whatever you would damn well like. All, all right. So maybe we start with this bad boy here because this is not mine. So I um, I uh, have, at home I have a Korg SV1. Oh yeah. But when we travel by a plane, it's not it's not really practical to take an eighty eight key no. weighted keyboard because um, of baggage limits and size weight restrictions and that sort of thing and. And, and really all I need out of my, my, my stage piano is uh, acoustic piano, Rhodes, Whirly, and a little tiny bit of organ. I do most of the organ up here. So uh, all stage pianos can do that. And so generally when you, when you travel around Australia, backline companies will give you some type of Roland RD. Yeah. And this is an RD800 and it's quite capable. And I, I, I like how it sounds, it does a, does a really good yeah. job. And I've actually used this one before. And last time, which when I was I was here in New South Wales, I used this exact one, and I programmed oh, really? a couple of things in, which are still, still in there. Wet. So I'm delighted, so I don't have to program <laughs> those back in. I mean, you know, it, it sounds nice. Um, so just got your standard sort of again the early sounds, um, and we we have our sounds for. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I, I take what I'm given in that regard, but it's, it the Rollins are fine, they're, they're yeah. good. Um, actions, uh, I, I must admit, I prefer the Korg RH3 action, yeah, yeah. but this is fine, there's nothing wrong that's with the it. Job. Yeah, so that's that one. This guy up here is my Korg Chrome, and when I talk about this keyboard, I always yes. say it's possibly the most underrated keyboard yes. ever made. It's not an expensive keyboard, no. it's, well, no keyboards are cheap, right, David? No, but. but. Yeah. It's a mid-range type thing. It's it's the little brother of the well. I used to say it's the little brother of the Kronos, but now it's like the little little brother the of the Kronos and the Nautilus. Yeah, that's yeah right. exactly. But it sounds great, and I've I've got it here set up to the the start of our first song we do for the night, which is Shine on Your Crazy Diamond. Yeah, yeah. But this one, mate, does most of the work. So yeah. it's got a heap of things. Pre preset in here. Uh, it's funny. I was talking to a young lady last night after the show we did, and she said, oh, "It's funny. She was blind, and she said, oh, really? Have you got octave shifters on your keyboard? Have you shifted the pitch?'" And I thought, "Wow, can you pick that up by ear?" And yeah, she's yeah. obviously got great wow. hearing. Luckily, she didn't say my playing was terrible or anything <laughs> like that. But for certain, for certain things. Uh, Shifted the octave apart to make it easier to play, so That's hands right. aren't sitting on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, and you know, another another classic is have a cigar, where you, you're playing two things at the same time as well. So that needs to be a. <laughs> so what's great about the, the chrome is you can split patches anywhere. There's no fixed split yeah. patch, so you can put them wherever you want. You can do things like I've done there, where you know I can throw the portamento in to yes. get that, that really uh, iconic sound for have a cigar. And it's just it's completely versatile. So it's such yeah. a great keyboard. It, it pretty much can make any sound. Uh, and as I say, quite underrated for, for it. And what I love about the Chrome, right? like you, you look at the user interface and that goes back to the M50, the Very much Chromes, so. the Kronos. Like I just love, yeah, it's consistent. Yeah, and if you speak Korg E's, yeah, which, which, right. which I do, uh, very easy to get along with. Yeah, yeah. So, and this touchscreen, it's interesting. It, it's not as complex as the one on the on the, on the Kronos or the no, Nautilus, but, but that's kind of its. Yes, like, I can't it's see that well, right? Is. So the, the font's so big, and I can just see everything. So I've got it all, all my sounds lined that's up. That's right. So yeah, that's that does most of the work. Brilliant. And over here we have the uh, the King Korg, which is the virtual analog yeah. synthesizer. So if I want to sound like a Moog or, or something like that, that's right. 
this is what we'll what we'll do. So um, you know, again, I'm sort of ready to start shine on our first song. Uh, I use this one for a couple of things, more again, more of the virtual analog things, but also sometimes I run out of real estate with all the yeah, different stuff. So that's I, right. This can back up with a little, a few no, little simple patches. Being honest, this isn't a great. If you want to do piano sounds and organ sounds, yeah, it's not fantastic. No, for that, but it's really good for the what it, what it does, which is the the VA stuff. Mm. The, the virtual analog is, is is wonderful. So yeah, it's, it's and nice and light. These these two keyboards are light. Um, I can take them on and off planes. Exactly. And uh, in in the case, I think they weigh sixteen or seventeen kilos, so they're yeah. not too hard to get around. So they they travel all over the country with me. Um, so that's that's those guys uh, over here. That's what cheat notes. Yep, you can see I've got a set list. On the on the tablet, yeah. Um, also, a few like you know little chord charts and things yes, when, when I occasionally forget what I'm supposed to be doing. And this one here, my iPad runs samples. That's your samples, yeah. So um, uh, let me give you an example. We might have. Uh... Yes, like that's that. right. That's Floyd. And here's another one. Yeah! Yes, yeah! Stand still, laddie! Now, we make all our own samples. So yeah. That, that's actually Matt, our lead singer. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. yeah um, but we don't make him do that live. So he, no. uh, he's recorded that, and then we can trigger that. So we we don't lift any of the actual sounds off the Pink Floyd records because we can't. No, that's right. Copyright oh, absolutely. So we, we create our own sounds. So yeah. we all these public domain libraries. Or we make them ourselves. A lot of a lot of our samples are self-made. Just that's right. Sitting in the studio with with logic and mucking around yeah. and coming up with things. Um. So that's that. It all runs through the Ashley mixer here. Beautiful. In this ridiculously oversized road case, and the the reason for that is because mine broke the other day. My wooden yeah. one, so <laughs> I, I had to quickly buy one. That's all right. Yeah. All get. Can't wait a bit of. Um. But it's nice and sold better for the plane anyway. Um. So all, all the it all runs through here. This is such a good mixer. It's quiet as a mouse, really, really quiet. It doesn't colour the sound at all. And then I run out of there and I've got the ability to set my own monitor level here. Yeah, great. So if I want more of me or less of me, I can I can dial that up or down without impacting anyone else. That's in right. Front of house yeah, that's always like that. good. Yeah, so it's, it's really good like that. Yeah. So, mate, um, Brilliant. That's, oh, look, the only other thing is, is this computer, which I, oh, you're triggering video yeah, and video. stuff. Yeah, video. So you can see there, obviously, uh, there's the logo yeah, of the yeah. band, and, and behind you on, on, screen, on the yeah. giant screen, there it is. So I, I trigger a few videos. So very manual, very manual yeah. process. Yeah, that's what yeah. works. Well, it works for us. No, brilliant. No, great. Video.